shower. I, I just, I, I didn't All right, think folks, about it. I didn't how think you get about back it. into the saddle with tech issues <laughs> from something was, we did in here previously. <laughs> yeah, I forgot I did a thing, and oops. Yeah, I was starting was to thing. panic. I was starting to panic. I was like, I can't hear you. You can hear me. What? What? And then I went into Discord to check on them. They're like, testing. You can hear me, right? And then he came in and was like, I can hear you. <laughs> and then I went back to the window, right click the tab. You're like, wait a minute. <laughs> I had the tab muted from when we did that last recording. Mm. Don't mind me. Oh, Sterling, I wish that would work on here. I don't know. It's something with the um, the uh, partnering of what's what's that thing, Nate? What's that thing? Um, uh, uh, trigger fire. That's it. Oh yeah, yeah, trigger fire. Yeah, it won't. It won't overlay with this for some reason. Probably not something they ever intended to. But I hope you guys are having a fantastic day wherever, whenever you may be. And hope we're the holidays back, were good. Yeah. Nate's going to have markedly more energy than me right now. So, But we're going to get through it and have some fun. Catch he, says, up. he says that. He's kind of getting over being sick. I'm, I feel the start of it slowly. Up. Oh, I don't feel the start of it. Man, I'll tell you about my Christmas experience. Uh, At least you have one. Yeah, no, it was, uh, I, I had to just call an audible, uh, cause I was wearing one of my, my hero shirts and my grandma was like, what is that? And I was like, I can't explain it to you. So it's a cartoon. <laughs> oh, you did not use that word. <laughs> yep, yeah, I had to do it. Oh, that hurts my soul. Well, oh, she, went, she was not going to understand it any way I yeah. can think of to explain it. <laughs> it's kind of like explaining, like, streaming. What do you do for it? Like, what do you do? Like, what is streaming? Exactly. I play video games and people pay me. <laughs> people watch me and I play video games. Is no. that it? No, but yes for this particular conversation. <laughs> exactly. See? So you got to... Tone it up some. And in the some, back of your mind, in the base of your skull, you're over here just cringing like, yeah. why did I have to explain it like that? Because <laughs> I wasn't about to explain any of that in a way. I was just like, yep, cartoon, let's move on. <laughs> it's like, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, man. But I hope you, everyone watching had a good holiday, Christmas, whatever you do to celebrate the time. Uh, always fun. I didn't. <laughs> Christmas yeah. sucked this year. But did y'all do okay. yours yesterday, or did y'all do it earlier, right, or no? We had, like, the full family, quote-unquote, dinner Saturday. But Grandma and I were there for maybe less than an hour because she was hurting so bad I had to bring her home. Wow. And then I yeah. went over, fixed me a plate, fixed her a plate, came home, and that yeah. was the day. Eh, well, you know, it is what we can do. Hey, Cody. Hey, Mama. Mama. Sterling. Hello, hello. So that we can feel better. See, that's been sort of my issue, Sterling. Sort of. I don't know. It's been something. Did you watch the Archer finale yet, Sterling? It was. I haven't uh, brung myself to do it yet. No, oh, you can't bring yourself to finish the show. <laughs> Did I on Saturday? My grandma. Last oh, week. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Well, see, that's nice. I have to go about an hour or so for mine. So it's uh, a thing. But, you know, all things considered, I have this nice cranberry Canada dry ginger <laughs> ale. I'm sipping on some Mountain Dew uh, Game Fuel Mystic Punch that I still have left over because it is just not as good as citrus. Cherry citrus, not that good. Mm -mm -mm. No, no, it's it's fine. Like it is a fine flavor, but I've had like the same four cans in my fridge for the past <laughs> month and a half because oh, it's man. just not as good as cherry citrus. Meanwhile, cherry citrus, I went through two cases. Hey, as long as it's good, but I mean, no, I can't find I it in my heart breaks. I haven't tried any of those. You haven't? Oh, my poor, my my, my dude. Yeah. I was going to go try to catch the last bit of that Kroger sale today, but I didn't. 
Oh, you didn't? Well, we'll, we'll end stream right now. Go to Kroger, and we'll come back. Hey, I mean, it was like buy two cases of 12 packs. Buy get two, three, get three for free. Yeah. <laughs> I've got two cases of cherry Dr. Pepper in there. I got a case of cherry vanilla Coke. See? A case they of take Dr. Pepper of it. <laughs> and a Sprite. That's all we need. Yeah. Get the way to do it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the cranberry sprite's pretty good, but I don't know if they have that in the uh, 12 packs or not. I haven't. It's not too bad. Oh, I'm going to tell you what is being told to me, and I am praying it is true. Okay. Because if it is true, I have friends who I'm going to call in a favor for. <laughs> <laughs> what do we call it in? Apparently, there are some Kroger's that sell cherry vanilla Dr. Pepper in the can. Oh. And I'm over here going. <laughs> That's not. Um, that has I a. I don't know if I've seen that here or not. I'll have to check when I go well, well, next I'm, time. I'm curious. I'm curious. I'll tell you what else I got. Courtesy of Sterling. He sent me from uh, some little snacks. That are exclusive oh. to like his state. Oh, I saw that. I was gonna order some too, but they're so expensive. Like the, I still have some up here. Um, Bing bites. They're just all it is is like a little bit of like little cherry filling, and like these little clumps. It's like chocolate and peanuts. Yeah, can go together sometimes. I don't. I was curious I'm about it. This one. I'm saying this one. I have it in my hand. Be rude not to. Yes, it would be very rude of you not to eat the thing. <laughs> well, I don't want to put it back in the bag. Exactly. See. Man, there's been so much going on over the past. Three months. <laughs> uh, An obsession my... blossomed within me. Oh yes, the obsession. Ask Nate what he's been watching. Everybody. <laughs> oh, that started. No, that no, that started back in February. Yeah, and as you told us earlier, hey, guess what I was doing? <laughs> watching the same thing. Uh, hey, that's fun. As long as you get enjoyment out of it. You know, I mean, I've me. Got, like, five sound clips from it. So. Sound clips are good. I've been playing Final Fantasy fourteen of all things. Who would have thought me? <laughs> well, we need peer pressure is a thing. <laughs> Hell, of noise. Well, see, Kroger is a weird one too because much like Hardee's, once you flip to that side of the country, it turns into something else. I think. Yeah, it's like they own something that is the Kroger out there, but I can't remember what it's called. I had a friend who lived out or went to Vegas and lived out there for a few years. And he was telling me what it was, but I can't remember. I like one. This is weird. I don't care. Huh? Whenever I go out of town and, you know, I don't like the grocery store. I need to go get like whatever. I like going to the grocery store. See what and, they have. And it's not even just then. Like, my grandma and I, like, we come up with, like, the, the well, I say grandma and I, whenever I come up with the list for groceries every week, I like going to the grocery store. And it's not just, yeah, let's go get groceries. It's like, I just, I'm always curious to see if, like, something new's come out. Yeah, that, there's that has always. Public knowledge. Is it and public I'm, knowledge? I'm, yeah, I get that. I like, that. Trying, I like trying new things. Hey, that's how I found the. Uh, well, I say I. Mom found the chicken she bought one day from Kroger, and it was it's really good. It's uh, it's like Babigos or something. It's really good. If you see it, try it. It's very good. If you have the air fryer, put it in there. Babigos. Yep. B i b i g o. B i b i g o. I think so. The big O or big I, I don't know. I'm not I'm singing bingo was his name O in my head now. <laughs> B I N G O B I 
Oh, actually, it's like a, the Asian foods? Yes. It's really good. Put it in the air fryer, and they came out with a uh, orange chicken one the other day. It's really good. Let's say crunchy chicken with soy garlic sauce. That looks good. That one's good. The spicy one's good. And then the orange chicken they got. Is really Mini good. wontons. Those are good, too. Steamed dumplings, crunchy chicken, chicken fried rice, mandu. The rice dumpling. is good, too. Dumpling bites, pot stickers. Huh. Start looking into some of that. Yes, try it. Let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know. What you got? Where do you want to start with this mess? <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of cut you short when you were talking about 14. Oh, no, it's all good. I was trying to make sure I could get the dungeon done before we started this, and I did. Otherwise, otherwise we'd be sitting here just like, you good? Hold on, I'm not done with this dungeon yet. Yeah. No, it's all good. I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad y'all like that game and that y'all have that game to play together. It's just not my style. And that's fine. MMO world is a bit um, something. <laughs> yeah. I've always but. said if they brought the Star Wars The Old Republic to be to console, I'd give it a shot. But Oh, now see, you, that was a fun one to play. I don't know if it's still up and running or not. I know. But it's getting it. It keeps getting updates. It they get updates, of, but I know. No, like expansion. Yeah, you know, the expansions, but I know I'd read like maybe a month or two ago that it was shifting like uh, i don't know if it's the publisher or so, it was shifting something so that they could focus on something else but i don't remember what the whole story was that's um, a good republic remake i mean what <laughs> that could have been part of it because um see this is funny because i think it was about 2013 or 20 something when a friend got me really into the old republic stuff and it was just like it was fun because I, a lot of it was the same it was mass effect stuff right there people were behind it um uh, was it by Bi bioware or the brain isn't functioning as good as it normally does so. yeah bioware yeah so it was so cool because I like, wear electronic arts. Yeah. I had fun with it because it was different. Because you could like you could pick Sith, you could pick, you know, light side, you could go do the different trees of the quest that they had. But the the thing that I always love about this, and I don't know if I've told this story on here before, but it's like when you were in a party, it was like I I guess it was an RNG with like the quest line. So like somebody in your party could just pick like one through four on the dialogue options and it would overdo what you pick sometimes. So it was hilarious. <laughs> You're like, I didn't pick that. <laughs> Listen, that's not what I said. And then people bad. would appear in like the, uh, the, the uh, cinematic stuff too. And you know, like your cut scenes and stuff. So that was always fun. And, like, depending on your background and what your player would be, like, uh, my guy was, like, a Sith prodigy, and my friend played a uh, Twi'lek slave, and they would always praise my guy, but they would always hate on her. I was just like, we did the same mission. Why are they saying this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. It's the Sith stuff. But, no, you can have fun with it. You, I would recommend it if you haven't tried it. Well, it's... You, you know my big I know PC. Ooh. <laughs> I don't like gaming on PC. <laughs> oh, we know, we know. <laughs> oh man, I'll be over here on my PS5 playing Baldur's Gate Three. You can play that on PC too. <laughs> I'd rather play it on PlayStation. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he gets in me. What was it? Lethal Company? Yeah, I got it too. Much you got it too? <laughs> it just mysteriously showed up. <laughs> like, the fuck is this? Now we can all play it together. 
and see the monstrosity craziness from it. What? <laughs> PC versus mobile versus console gaming. Listen, mobile's not even in this argument, all right? No. There, I have played some really good mobile games for like this era. They have come a long way, but yes. <laughs> I've, well, listen, the Jurassic World game that came out in 2015, like I played the hell out of that game. And admittingly, I did put money into it. Oh, no. Same it's thing like, with the yeah. Dragon Ball Dokken Bell. Yeah, I was going to say. That, money, that game and what was it, Puzzles and Dragons just stole all of my like just time like there's a time that's all i did that's all i had a phone for was just those games be like the uh what was it the the early days of facebook when it was uh oh my God. No, and, no, no. Uh, mafia mafia it was the on mafia. there too. i spent hours <laughs> a day on that game Hours so a day. many of them. I played a couple of them. I, I did. Got... I did Farmville for a little bit, but no, I was all. I played every mafia game that I could on there. Gosh, I remember that. That's such a. That's such a crazy platform back then. You could do that. You had that, and then you could go on MySpace and complain that you were never in anyone's top eight. <laughs> I remember poke wars on Facebook in the old days. Uh, yeah, I was in like thirty <laughs> wars. I was in like thirty wars. The poke. Oh gosh, those were a thing. Just talking about the older stuff for that. I don't know. MySpace was in there. I fucking miss MySpace. My yearbook was a thing for a hot minute. I barely, I barely remember my yearbook. Bebo was the other one. Never, never did that one. I'll tell you. I'll tell you when I did Shout Life. You ever hear of Shout Life? I have heard of it. I was on there. Facebook. <laughs> yeah, Sterling. How could you forget Facebook gaming? <laughs> because it's such a lost uh, art. Like some of those games were just like they were fun. Like well, this is funny because now they are behind uh, the VR crap, the Meta Quest or whatever it's called now. Oh, God. Hey, some of those are really crazy for the VR side of it. You ever do the, um, you know, like the uh, the tightrope game where you're walking between the buildings and someone I'm, like... I'm afraid of heights, my guy. That ain't happening. Yeah, I know. That's what, it's, it's so trippy. Mafia Wars? Yes, those. I'm afraid of heights, my dude. Like, I would never play that game. I'd, be, I'd have a panic attack. Oh, yeah. It's not too bad until uh, your uh, siblings troll you and bring in a giant fan and have it pointed at you when you're out. like, oh, what the hell? <laughs> you see, uh, I live on a farm, so we have one of those big fans. Mm -hmm. The big metal fans. Yeah. Gosh. Let's see. So we're talking about that, playing that. Go back, to, go back to mobile games for a minute. <laughs> How obsessed were you with Angry Birds? I wasn't that obsessed with it. Uh, out of the bird games, I was more obsessed with Flappy Bird. <laughs> <laughs> Never played it. But I had every single Angry Birds on my phone <laughs> at one point. Yeah, because then they decided to make it into a movie. Hey, that Angry movie was actually pretty good. <laughs> it was actually a pretty good movie. I made a couple, haven't they? Or was it just two. one? It was two. Yeah. I haven't seen the second one yet. I don't I'll say I can't remember exactly what they had done with it. Uh, it was good. Like it was it was a fun movie. Those were the days, man, and they weren't that long ago. No. I haven't watched either one. I, I haven't seen either one either, Sterling, so I have a very nice one. <laughs> Temple run, yes, Temple Run. That was a thing. Gosh, how could I forget Temple Run? No, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm going to tell you the game that I spent so much time on. You're gonna look at me like I'm crazy. Uh, I, I let's see. What do you got? Do you remember like the bubble games where you had to aim and shoot the ball to like the different color balls to kind of split them up? Yeah, I remember those. You know how they had like different varieties of those games. 
Yeah. There was a frozen one. Oh, there was. I didn't know that. And I was falling down a rabbit hole of like looking for like different varieties of like these games because I had this one uh, bubble game that I was just I couldn't get enough of. And so I was like, Frozen, you know what? That looks pretty good. So I started playing it and I think I got to like level 200. <laughs> Way to do it. Invest the time in it. No, the only one I remember was the um Give me your Angry Birds of Disney. I like No, there was one on PlayStation or something that I remember playing. What? The like the, the bubble. A oh, bubble game on the PlayStation? Yeah, there was one. I remember we rented it back in the day from the good old video store. Bust a move. Uh oh, wait. Yeah. Oh, wait. That might be it. There's one called a ACA Neo Geo Puzzle Bobble. Okay, not going to lie. kind of want some of these. What is it? It's called Adventure Pop Riffs. No, Ad Adventure Pop Riffs on Classic Bubble Shooters. Out to the one. What was this supposed to Nice. In 2017, but yeah, hey, tricks. How are you, buddy? Rawr. Uh, no, I don't think it was this one. I'm trying right. to think. These titles are confusing. <laughs> Rawr. Uh, one that. I don't know, but you you went and you did the uh, uh, I shot the bubbles and stuff, and you had to match it up. But uh, that is the one I remember handedly. <laughs> that and Space Invaders. While you were playing Space Invaders and Bubble, I was over here playing Dino Grazes. What's up? Well, I played that too. <laughs> it was like one of those things that I don't know. It was weird. We'd only play certain things back then. Yeah. Certain hours, anyway. I played the hell out of Spider Man, X Men, Mutant Academy. Yeah. Those were good ones, too. Uh, if it had Star Wars in the title, I played it. Yeah, I'm gonna spend an hour and a half trying to get through the driver tutorial. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> that was me. Yeah, I, I refuse to believe that you could get through that tutorial. <laughs> like, is this the game? Just trying to get through this tutorial. Once you get through it, you beat the game. Cheers. Yes. I don't know. It was weird. Like there was the, you had this big list of paper, and it was like do all these moves in the car, and like you could never get them all. I don't know. I could get oh, so many. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, that was a good one too. Just because you could cheat it and get Boba Fett, I think, or Django one, and then just do the jetpack over and over again and get like infinite points. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Project 8? Wasn't that newer, though? <laughs> yeah, that was 360, wasn't it? Because <laughs> wasn't that the thing where they were like, oh, this game isn't going to have any loading screens? Or was that uh, American Wasteland? One one of them that was like that. Oh, no. that was, Yeah, it was 360. I don't know. Once, uh, once they got out of uh, Pro Skater, I was kind of done with it. 2006. No, 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 not Pro Skater for me. It was Underground. That was the last one mm -hmm. I played. Those were fun. <laughs> Play those back on uh, PS2. PS2. Uh, there was a PSP port for those as well. Yeah. That was fun. Never, I never, I've never touched a PSP. Oh, you haven't lived then. Like, 
Yeah, see, Cody knows. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, uh, PS, my PS2 what consisted of fifty thousand attempts at Final Fantasy X, fifty thousand attempts at Kingdom Hearts. We're not talking about that. <laughs> uh, Dirge of Cerberus, Turok, Evolution, Dark Watch, uh, thirteen, and the Budokai games. Yeah, that's that's about the same here. They're definitely on the Budokai games. Specifically, Budokai went to and they were touched Tenkai Eiji, which is why I'm so excited for uh, Sparking Zero. Yeah, that Which too, Sterling. That too. That was definitely an era of that for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was. You hadn't lived as well. What were we? We were probably in our teens during that early, early teens, mid teens, whatever. But you know, you have everything with the modern gaming now. You hadn't lived till you go. You, you know, you go to your friend's house like on the weekends or whatever, and like, hey, my dad got a multi tap for the PS2, so we can have like six people in the Royal Rumble now. And oh man, what? Yeah, multi tap. That was the uh, the expansion for the PS2 controller. You could hook up like four controllers into it, I think. And then have one plugged into the other port. So it's either five or six people you could have. SmackDown versus Raw 10 copy won't even work because of how much I played it. Ah, oh, it's 2010. That was a good one. I'm trying to think what the cover of that was. I don't, I don't know. 11 was Miz, I think. Uh, looks like it's Cena, Taker. Edge, Orton, and Mysterio Jr. Okay. Okay. Ray Mysterio, excuse me, not Mysterio yeah. Jr. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know my wrestlers. Yeah. No. This is the jump I made with wrestling games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're going to laugh your ass off. Um, WWF Warzone and WCW Thunder on PS1. Oh, man. WWE Battlegrounds. Once played Final Fantasy X for 26 hours straight. Yeah, that sounds... I could, I could buy that. I could buy that. I spent a lot of time on... What did I play? How Something. we played games like that in our, in our like at that age, and some, some people beat them is beyond me. Because I couldn't, I was I was shit. That's how I feel about some of the games when I go back and play like, them now. Like looking at Final Fantasy like seven and ten, it's like how the fuck did we beat this as a kid? Uh, that it's a good example there. And you know, my, there. I'm thinking of. Uh, Tenkaichi, when I played it the other night and y'all watched, I got my ass kicked. I was like, I wasn't this bad at this when I was a kid. I think from last year, Trump's years. <laughs> I don't want to talk about Spyro or Crash <laughs> fucking Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, you don't want to talk about Crash? No, the fuck <laughs> I don't. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, God. But no, Disney's The Jungle Book. Oh, man. I beat that game as a kid. But I played it like two years ago for my one-year celebration. And I just, you know, just nostalgia. Let's go through it. I couldn't get past the first level. No, man. Oh, why not, Nate? Oh, I don't know. Could have no reason. Nero in one K. Jeez, Cody. <laughs> have you How? platinumed the PS like the current <laughs> model games? I don't think that game was nearly that big though. <laughs> I don't know, Blitzball. Yeah. Blitzball. 
it'll take that many hours to even understand how to play the damn sport. <laughs> All right, now. You don't like, you don't like Blitzball? <laughs> Sterling. Sam. Wait. Oh, the newest one? Oh, are you talking oh, about Crash 4? Uh, really? Uh, it's oh. about time or whatever. Yeah. I was talking about uh, the first one on PlayStation 4. Uh, like I said, I will die on this hill that they made those harder than they were. If they... Because <laughs> I the, the originals, I don't remember them being that bad. First one had no problem, really? Mm. I don't know. Most of them have solid 300 I, hours on the Vita. Nah, the Vita was a fun system, too. Never touched the Vita. Uh, I never had a Vita. I did have a PSP, though. <laughs> Those were fun to have on the bus. It was like bringing my PlayStation with me on the school bus. I was bullied <laughs> heavily as a kid. If I had one of those on the bus, it would have been snatched up and broken. What? No. And nobody would have done anything about it. Well, you should have had it on the bus. Well, my bus ride was like an hour or more, so... I don't know how long your all's bus rides were. Which is silly, because school wasn't even that far away, but when you live out in the country, it has to go through the whole shenanigans. So, talking about Crash, talking about Spyro, you know, all these games that we played as a kid, loved as a kid, and games that we were bad at <laughs> back then. <laughs> Guitar Hero. Hey! Now you're talking language. <laughs> I could barely do medium. Like some of those games and songs, I could barely do medium. Like I even could like do most hard ones, a couple experts. Uh, but for me, this is going to sound crazy. What made expert easier was putting it into hyperspeed mode or whatever. How? I, I don't know. I just I was able to move with it. Never played our hair, Sterling. You you missed out on a gem of a memory slot, like just gem of a memory slot. Where uh, was it? You and I or somebody? We sit down one day and there were like thirty of those games that they released within that time slot. <laughs> it was. Uh, oh, I'm looking it up now. There there was a lot. They had a lot of spinoffs and shit. Uh, they did. List of games. Okay, that's not 30, but... How they had this game available on, like, the DS is beyond me. Alright, folks. Like, there was Guitar Hero 1, 2, and 3, obviously. World Tour, Guitar Hero 5, Heroes of Rock... Guitar Hero Live, which I hear is abysmal. Band Centric, Aerosmith, Metallica, Van Halen, Expansions, Encore, Rock the 80s, Smash Hits, and Band Hero. I don't know. Did you find the list of them? I don't see a list. Of them. Keep going down. Keep going all the way down. Keep going. Scroll on the left side and, until you see list of games. Ah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, it felt like there were way more than this. I know there's that list there. Yeah, you're probably also taking into, into, into consideration Rock Band. Well, not even Rock Band, but like, uh, like maybe the spinoffs too. Let's see. I've Guitar heard band. talks that there might be getting more in the future. Yeah. The DS Guitar Hero was weird, Shrix. I played it a couple of times. Work? So basically, it had three buttons, I think, and it went into it, and then you got a pick, and you just picked the screen. It was it was really weird, but it worked. It's all right. Uh, let's see. Take Two, three, 
World Tour was probably the best one. Uh, wait, hold on. No. Even though that was when they first incorporated all of the... Uh, You're saying World's Tour is the best one? No. Three. Her Heroes, Legends of Rock. Eh. I mean, as far as a set list, I don't... I don't know. Hold on. I mean, three did have a bunch of good ones on it. Two and its ridiculous uh, Freebird solo. That was always a pain. Three had uh, Through the Fire and Plants. Oh, I know it did. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody was like, oh, that song from Guitar Hero. <laughs> it's the guy from Fortnite. Yeah. Uh, Aerosmith one, Metallica one was fun. Van Halen one was fun. Guitar Hero, Rock the 80s. That was a fun one. I enjoyed it. Uh, oh, yeah, DJ Hero was a thing, too. <laughs> I forgot that was a thing. Portable games. Yeah. No. Mobile games. There you go, Sterling. Mobile games. I don't remember any of these. Which ones are you looking at? Because I'm looking at the soundtracks. Oh, just the mobile series and the others. Oh, I didn't know. I know there was the arcade one. I don't. I never got to play one of those. But... Oh, hold on. The, f the only thing I hate though is obviously people do it, but like that's not yeah. a very streamable game to me because you run into a Oh, I can not never of risk. <laughs> I could never stream this game because I, you think I'm bad at the games I play now. <laughs> oh, I ain't even talking about playing them. I'm just talking about the uh, the musical side of it. Oh yeah, That's the whole. <laughs> well, I, I'm, I'm. Well, we have to get past my lack of ability to play the game before I can even think about streaming and get hey, the music side. Put it on easy, but I can do easy. Yeah, even looking at this set list for a. <laughs> what? <laughs> Always have a broom there. <laughs> <laughs> Sweep the leaderboards. You're going to make Strix be angry. <laughs> Face palm. <laughs> uh... No, they're good. Good rock band was a thing. Uh, yeah. That was really cool when they added the drums, though. And then Guitar Hero did it in World Tour. And then, I don't know. That really peaked at, like, Rock Band 3 for those, though. They didn't get very far into their... And was it Rock... Did they ever make a Rock Band 4? Um, I think they did. And last yeah. I checked, it was still getting... It was on, yeah, it, it was on PS4. Yes, because it has Skillet on there. <laughs> That's all Nate needs to know. It's got Skillet on it. Is that is that the best rock band game? Then? <laughs> I don't know. Let's look at the rest of these songs and see what's on here. <laughs> List of songs in Rock Band 1. All right. Uh Know what other list of songs they had? Glad you can find this stuff because I can't. I can never find it. Can never find what? Soundtrack list of songs. There are the links. <laughs> They're right fucking there. I had to find them. <laughs> Not nice. I'm not hard. Uh, like I said, it's been. Ooh, Rock Band 2 has almost easy by Ben Summerfall. Down with the. Okay, it took them up until Rock Band 2 to include Down with the Sickness. Oh, you're looking at the Rock Band ones. Just yeah, the Rock Band. 
Live it on a prayer. Yeah, let's go. One yeah. step closer. Look at all the Guitar Hero ones. This was it the first one, two? Dude, rock, guitar Hero 1, 2, and 3 had like were perfect. Yeah, but uh, was it 1 and 2, they were cover songs. And then 3, they got the actual songs, if I remember right. Oh, I don't remember that. Yeah, they weren't the real deal songs. I remember that. That didn't happen. That I didn't know. Until 3, I think. I think I've ever seen something about that. Like a master recording. Yeah. But like, what is, which one's this? Two? We don't need two right now. Let's go to one. All right. I love rock and roll. No, wait. Yeah, this one. Uh, Thunder Kiss, Smoke on the Water, Infet, uh, Iron Man, More Than a Feeling. Yep. Those were in there. Sharp Dress Man. It was in there, too. Bonus songs. Because eh. it had... Um, Two hats. Shout at the Devil. I loved to play that one. That was a good one, too. Uh, heart Shaped Box. Ugh. Messes in the Bottle. No. Carry yes. on my wayward son. Oh, I, I, I that was in that one, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. So it was sweet child of mine. Yep. And I'm free gonna, bird. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what killed me on some of these songs was when they were so repetitive, like with like it was like the same like back and forth. Like oh, yeah. at a certain point, like I get thrown off. Just oh, beast in the harlot. Yep, yeah, remember that one. Gosh, that song was a pain. And then we have this was list of songs. What? Oh, that no, here we go. Slow ride, talk dirty to me, hit me with the best shot, rock and roll all night. Yeah, that was a thing too. But my two favorite songs on this game were "Before I Forget" and "Stricken." Really? I don't know why. I just <laughs> enjoyed those games more more than anything else on there. It was a good one. What was that? That was two, right? Oh, oh this is three. Okay, three. Right yeah, before I forget. Yeah. Uh, Stricken. Uh, Cliffs of Dover. One by Metallica was on there. Uh, what else was in three? Welcome to the Jungle. Uh, Cult of Personality was in three. That was when it hit me with your best shot. I'm trying to think. That's all I remember. Uh, Even Flow was in three. I do remember that. Uh, yeah. No, that was that. Uh, I don't know. I like the World Tour of like too. It was good. Uh, let's see. A world Tour had Living on a Prayer. Yes. Um. I guarantee you, most of these songs I know, but I can't think of them off the top of my head. Uh, there's What I've Done, mm -hmm. The Joker, Misery Business, Hotel California, yeah. Eye of the Tiger. See? <laughs> I had a good list of songs. Willie Nelson on the road. The Kill. Oh, shit. Yeah. Shiver by Coldplay. Beat it. Sweet Home Alabama. It took you four games to put that song in here. <laughs> yeah, it was a thing. But, you know, what would you want to see if they bring that back at some point? Like, rumor. Just, you know, like. Guitar Hero Skillet. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. You want to <laughs> So, we all know my disdain for playing on the. PC. Um, well, back when I was, you know, part of the Goody Two Shoes, like good Christian boy, and there was a game on PC called Guitar Praise, <laughs> and it was Guitar Hero, but Christian rock songs. I say Christian rock songs; it was Christian slash Christian rock songs. Um, it had like four Skillet songs on there. Uh -oh. <laughs> Yeah, I. Mm. What song? Hold on. 
<laughs> it's like, what was on there? I mean, I might as well. Doesn't even have a let's see compare price songs. Here we go. Um guitar praise. What did it have? <laughs> it had father's song by Jonah 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Jeremy Camp tonight. All right. Oh my god, the striper had so many songs on it. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. All right, where are you at? Okay, it had rebirthing, savior, and the older I get. Nate, Sally, all about all about you, really. I don't remember half of these. Okay, it had when tomorrow comes. Why? Front line. <laughs> oh no, jeez. Just had them all. Just now you can make it with the, uh, what's the one everybody plays now? Clone Hero. I mean, there's also, there's also, uh, what's that, Rocksmith? Ah, uh, Rocksmith. The Rocksmith is a little different, though. It's, it doesn't actually take like a proper guitar and it teaches you how to play or something yeah i've never messed with it that much i had a friend who did you know how to play you don't need that shit <laughs> yeah, i'm saying i have a friend who did mess with it some but i don't know that one just felt weird to me i've seen videos of it and i'm just like this doesn't like i don't know it doesn't look right to me but i don't know oh Wait. man i want to play guitar here now I'll tell you what we need to do. Next time we all get together and like meet up, <laughs> wherever I don't care where we're going, I'm bringing my PS2 and all my Guitar Hero games because I've got I got quite a few over here. Do you have the controllers though? I have one. I'm yeah. sure some of y'all have some controllers. Yeah. Gosh, I remember the day they stopped taking those in for trade. I was at GameStop. I was so happy. I remember like hearing that there was one on PS4. And like I kind of want to try that. And someone said, no. Apparently the one on uh, uh, PS4, the latest one to come out was just bad. Uh, was that five? I think so. Warriors of Rock or something. But yeah, no, that was it, it was Guitar Hero. There was Guitar Hero Five came out on PS2. What? That doesn't well, sound right. No, but... the one I'm talking about it was Guitar Hero Live. Guitar Hero Five came out in 2009. Hold on, I got two things to look at here. Was that really 2009? I'm looking at it, bro. That... Wait, um... there's something in here about Kurt Cobain. What? I don't know. You never took anything to trade game. Uh, Sterling, it, it has its ups and downs. Listen, we don't talk about the shithole that is Camp Top. Yeah. Gosh. Yeah. The bad era of life to work through there. Oh, the one I worked at got, got robbed at gunpoint. Yeah. Not a fun thing to go it's through. Not, it's not. They did one of the uh, training videos one time after the store, and me and my old store leader were watching it. And it was like, if you're ever in this situation, just hide behind the cash wrap. And I'm like, that's not going to work, bro. Yeah, we, were, we looked at each other and like, what, they're going to laugh at us? What are you doing? Because like it's literally, if you've been, some of them have, that have the full wrap around where it's just the one. Ours was just the cut through. You could walk behind it. And yeah. They're going to look at us and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was craziness. Ooh, okay. So Guitar Hero 5 had a Shinedown pack, a track pack. It had three songs. Had Devour, Second Chance, and Sound of Madness. That's really good. Uh, let's see. It's a good... Um, 
Uh, had, good, had, good expansion. Had Afterlife, Almost Easy, Scream as an event sevenfold track pack. Breaking Benjamin track pack sooner or later until the end and give me a song. Okay. Disturbed, had just down with the sickness, indestructible and stricken. So it's kind of like a revisit from the old game. All right, let's go through. All right. By artist, it is three doors down, kryptonite. Um, a lot of songs I don't recognize by the titles. <laughs> and then we have uh, Bon Jovi, You Give Love a Bad Name. Yes. Mm hmm. There's a lot of stuff that I don't recognize. I don't know. Is Bon Jovi or just random stuff? Um, it had Duhast. Yeah, I remember that being in there. Or was that in Rock Band? It was in something we played. Uh, Guitar uh, Hero 5. I'm sending this to you on Facebook. But I don't think it was Guitar Hero 5. Because I'm never... looking right at it. No, 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 no. They were in... Some of the stuff from that and Rock Band did cross over once they got to a certain point. Ah, okay. Because I know for a fact we never played Guitar Hero 5. Oh, man. Let's see. What's the song? What is this song list for the Guitar Hero Live? Jesus. Wait, what was this? Two minutes to bid on way. disc soundtrack launch songs. Okay, give me by artist had two Alter Bird songs, two Black Bill Brides, 182, a bullet for my Valentine, Carrie Underwood. That's funny. One Disturbed. <laughs> Still good ink by the gorillas. I don't know. That's not like uh, that's not exactly guitar hero, but okay. It had used me by Hender. Jesus, they're just throwing shit on here. Yeah, Ramson. Breaking the law by uh Yes, that, uh, you see gorillas. That's what I was saying. That's not exactly Guitar Hero, but okay. <laughs> hey, this one had Nickelback, Edge of a Revolution. Which, by the way, where's the love for Nickelback in any of these games? I can't remember Nickelback being in any of the games. <laughs> they were in the one, like, on PS4. <laughs> AFI, that was in one of these? Oh, man. Man. This set list is humongous. Oh, let's see. Added songs. Straight. They added six new songs a week. You know what? Respect. They did? Oh. On the PS4 version. That's wild to think about. Oh, man, I just don't remember half of these. But, hey, like I said, I stopped after a certain point. I don't, yeah, but I, when they, I, Spy being in 09 just baffles me because it doesn't feel... Because 2007 was 3, so you're telling me 8 to 9, 2008, 2009, we went to... Five already? Because there never was a proper four, was there? Guitar Hero? There's this world tour, I think. Was that. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. I don't know. There's so much going down the rabbit hole of Guitar Hero and Rock Band. It's almost like we're kind <laughs> of, sort of, um, <laughs> nostalgia now. Just a little bit. Um, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Any games you all played that you go back now and you're like, how? How did I do this? Cody's talking about Final Fantasy X. Oh, man. Crash, definitely, for me, is probably one of them. 
that. I don't know. I can't think. Uh, I miss can I just miss Guitar Hero now. Yeah. I'll tell you one not for difficulty, but just like going back now, I guess it's because it's revisionist on what we have. Uh, Assassin's Creed 1. <laughs> like, I, how I remember that game and how it is if you play it now, I'm like, oh. You should, you should, play, it, you should play it now. You should give it a try now. <laughs> Come on, just give it a shot. That's the worst I get at. Yeah. Which is odd because that is the one game that has not been like revamped. All the other ones have been. I don't know. This is weird. That's because it doesn't need a revamp. <laughs> it needs a remake. <laughs> <laughs> that was a I'm blinking on the word right now. That was a chore to get through last year. When I was trying to start, just I'm going to go through the entire Assassin's Creed trilogy. One derails the entire thing. It says, nope. <laughs> I beat it. I beat it. Then I started two, and I was like, eh. I think two, I actually reached with. Because the camera would just. Was, mm. Oh, man. No, I haven't touched them since. Don't really want to. I do, but I don't. After Mirage, I, I really don't. Yeah. Well, you know, we'll see what we get in the future. Should attempt the ones you haven't played yet? I've got two I haven't played yet. And I feel like I need to play Black Flag all the way through before I can play those two. Uh, because because one of them is Rogue. Yeah, I was going to say, one of them is Rogue, if that's the case. And then I haven't played Unity yet. <laughs> 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 yeah, I hear, I hear that game's fixed. I hear that game's fixed. Yeah, fun. it was good once they fixed it. Yeah, I remember hearing the horror stories about that game. Yeah. Glad I didn't have to deal with that shit. That was actually the first... Uh, Nail in a coffin? No, 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 no. I'm trying to think. No, no, no. It was the second Xbox One game, I believe. It was Unity. I'm just gonna I was, throw it out there. What was the first one? Shadow of Mortal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can tell you exactly what my first PS4 game was. It was Arkham Knight. Yeah. And then once I beat Arkham Knight, I played uh, Uncharted because I got the Nathan Drake Nathan Drake trilogy with it. I think Arkham was one of my first PS4 games, too, because I was very, very late into the game on a PS4 because I had the Xbox One. Uh, but what, what prompted that was that I bought the uh, the uh, the Unity Edition that they had. And, oh, boy, that was, a, <laughs> ooh, that was a chore of a game to get through. But I did. Was it even playable when it first came out? Uh, not really. Some I heard people had issues it. with it. Other people didn't. Then you run into the videos back then where people like the face was half cut yeah. off. And stuff. That's and the that's the pictures I remember. My biggest issue with that, and I don't know if they ever fixed it or not, because I haven't touched it since then. <laughs> uh, you should. I mean, I beat the game, but that was the last oh. time I touched it. Uh, was Arno's movie movement mechanics on the buildings? Oh, that would piss me off so bad. Because, like, I would tell him to do one thing, like, you know, hop up to another. It, it, oh, it, it was awful. He would not do what I told him to do. That's, that was my issue with Ezio. I tell him to climb, and he would jump. Mm -hmm. I'm like, motherfucker, where are you going? You're dead. Okay. I'd go do something completely the opposite of what I wanted him to do. And I was like, yeah. Grr. But no, to, Unity had a um, Unity had a decent story? Question mark? <laughs> I'll tell you why I never played Rogue and Unity. Because Rogue was the first one on... Let me say, hold on, tell me out here. No. Rogue was on 360. Yeah. 
Rogue is when I fell out of it because you know they were all the same play style. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, and I was burnt out. And then Unity was the first one on the next gen, and I didn't have one of those for at least two years. Mm -hmm. Um, so I never cared about Unity. Obviously, I didn't play Syndicate. My favorite yeah. Syndicate was fun. Then Origins was coming out. Yep. And, you know, we, you saw how drastic the change was in that. See, so. that was the opposite for me, because I had clipped up to them, and then when we got to Origins, I was like, whoa, this is too far of a curve on the shift for me. And then, you know. <laughs> and because I didn't play Origins until... I convinced you to, right? Yes. It's whatever that was. Because yeah. I was on your ass about that, too. I was like, you need to play this. Well, it's cool because I enjoyed it. And then the biggest obscurity of all of this was Odyssey. And mm -hmm. I finally played it. And then, like, I sunk so much time into it, which you don't like because of the grindiness of it. Here's right? the weird thing about that. Like, like to backtrack on the story real quick, I didn't play Rogue and Odyssey because, you know, falling out of the series goes. Too repetitive. Then when uh, or Origins came out, I was like, ooh, I was really drawn into it. So I got it. Loved it. Odyssey, yes, please. The numbers system. I feel like I'm the only one who has that issue. Because I just can't progress. Hmm. It's like, okay, so this guy is like three levels stronger than me. I can't do anything so i'm gonna go grind get me some levels come back and kill him wait he's still three levels higher than me fucking what <laughs> so i haven't beaten odyssey yet yeah played the winston split all... uh, okay oh, wow. the is good oh holla might be my favorite it might be my favorite assassin's creed game which is funny because it is the least Assassin's Creed. <laughs> it it is it is. Uh, I know I'm not the only person that said that. You no, know, it was a good game. For it's a it good was. game, but here's my thing: if you take out Assassin's Creed as a title and just name it Valhalla, yep, and take uh, out the Assassin's Creed like elements, oh, it would have been so good. But as an Assassin's Creed game, it's it you couldn't be further from what <laughs> the game is. You're a Viking. Oh no, what stealth? <laughs> like what we're supposed to be sneaking. I'm a fucking Viking. I'm gonna blow my horn. I'm gonna go in with like two swords and an axe. Yeah. How are you gonna carry all three of them? Have you seen One Piece? <laughs> yeah. I remember uh when I was doing like in game stuff for that after I'd beaten it, and then I finally went and got uh Mjolnir and stuff. And like, you just <laughs> oh. that thing was so overpowered, it wasn't even funny. You should try dual wielding Mjolnir and Excalibur. Oh, God. I don't know if I ever got Excalibur, I didn't know that was in Val the game. Valhalla is the one game that, like, like it's the first game that I sunk over 100 hours into in one playthrough. I put so much time into that, like after, like post game. I was like, no, I'm going to keep going because I was addicted to it. But I'm going to tell you something that not just Assassin's Creed, but like Ubisoft. And if you're listening to this, I'm sorry. I love you guys. Your DLC sucks. <laughs> Your DLC fucking sucks. Oh, gosh. Let's see. That all was what? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Origins was a fantastic game. I loved it. One of the DLCs was, it, like, it was short, but it was, it was like, okay, what the fuck is this? The second DLC was so long and drawn out, I got bored and quit. Oh, that bad. Like, it was like, okay, so I should be about done here, right? No, nope. then you have to do this, this, and this. Bitch, what? Um, 
got bored with it. Obviously, I haven't done any of the uh, Odyssey DLC because that's uh, I yet. so that's where it gets really weird because I know, I've I know done I the DLC part of really the DLC dives into the mythology stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. Like I've done part of it, but then when I go and look at like all of the other stuff, it's like there's a whole other game out like there. Four or five DLCs for Odyssey. Yeah, I know there's a bit about uh, like the first hidden blade, which makes no sense because yeah. it should have been Bayek, I thought, but I don't know. Uh, we'll talk. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about him in a fucking minute. <laughs> we'll talk about that in a fucking minute. Oh no! Oh, I got thoughts. And then you get to Valha, which one of which. To be fair, the DLCs for that weren't bad. I still haven't played one of them. Uh, Siege of Paris, right? No, the uh, uh, the Wrath of the Druids. No, the final one. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Dawn of Ragnarok. I haven't well, done that. It's either. its own thing. Yeah, it's well, well, you need the game to play it. Yeah, but it's at least a forty-hour DLC, but, but it's see, a full-on expansion. Here's the thing. Like and maybe it was you or Cody or somebody I was talking to about it. Like those sections were the worst sections for me. They, they were. They were one hundred percent. And the thought of an entire thirty-hour DLC centered around that just like makes me. I, I'm good, fam. But I'm going to tell you something that Mirage does that the other Assassin's Creeds don't. Uh oh. You spent the entire game. In that era, you don't leave the animus once. Mm -hmm. Which to me, that's what Assassin's Creed should be. No one gives a shit about the modern day story stuff. All we care about is like the history stuff. Yeah. I feel like I feel like Unity did that too. I don't remember. I haven't played it. I have to trust your memory. I, I, I wouldn't trust my memory. But <laughs> I feel like that was the case. Because I know Rogue did, but it was silly stuff. Like you went and did random crap at Abstergo. Or whatever. I hated that bit. Like with Black Flag. Like yeah. that. I think it was part of the same thing there. But I don't. Odyssey, yeah. did you come out of it at all, or Origins? Yeah, yeah, you did. Because Origins is where you started playing as a different oh, all, all yeah, around. yeah, 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 yeah. Boys, what's her face? Yep, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't see. I don't forgot about that. But uh, I'm gonna tell you something about Mirage. We're gonna talk about Mirage for a minute. Yeah, I still gotta play it. So. I'm, that's <laughs> why I'm. I'm gonna try to keep it spoiler free. Um. For all intents and purposes, it is a remake of one. Okay. Play style and everything. It is a remake of one. Oh, no. Play style, too. <laughs> well, you know, like the whole stealth, uh, eavesdropping, pickpocketing, and stuff like that. Like, it focuses on stealth. And if you, like, sneak up and assassinate somebody, you fucking assassinate somebody. Yeah. So, there you go. Um yeah, that was something I hated in the uh, newer ones. I was so that was the first thing the, I did. In the message, the message you sent me, because I remember <laughs> it. The message you sent me after you started playing it for a little bit. I'm just vibing. Next thing you know, I get a message from him. Where the fuck is the stealth in this? Like, why is it called like? Why is this called Assassin's Creed if you can't assassinate anybody? This is bullshit. Oh, I was big mad at Origins for that. It's one of the few times this man has shown like emotion in any capacity. Um, Nate don't do stealth. Yeah. <laughs> no, Nate is a person. Okay, this is a stealth mission. Everyone's putting on silencers. I'm over here putting on, you know, like the like the big speaker that amplifies sound. I'm screwing that onto my gun. It's like, all right, let's go. No, but Odyssey and do Origins stuff. and all of that, that was the one thing that made me big mad. Because 
like you know, you get you get it set up like in the game, then you go and like, oh, you get the first and then the it's like I have made error. Yeah, and you know, you do the jump, and you're like, oh, assassinate, cool, like the olden days, and then um, it takes nope. off, like a, an eighth of their health. What? <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that's exactly how I felt. I you get like, humble quick. I was like, "Wait a minute, this isn't right." That's a, this is not how you play Assassin's Creed. Well, this is weird because it was like in Odyssey they had the bounty hunters, and then Origins they had the one things chasing you the whole game. Which I don't know if it was just my excitement for that game, but those guys never gave me a lick of issue, like a lick of trouble. Like I was. Let's go, bitch. And I would just parry and just... I don't know. See, that's what I like. I like those games. They were... They're some of my favorites. Like, this, that whole series. Um, But, like Sterling said, I don't do stealth. Which is why it's ironic that Assassin's Creed is one of my favorites in the same, like, franchises. Yeah. Hey, it works, you know. You get to have all the fun with it. But... No, I shouldn't talk about that on here because you haven't played it yet. Mm-hmm. Like it's kind of, uh, no, it's kind of just kind of want to, I don't want I, I don't want to ruin your excitement to eventually play it. Yeah, eventually, whenever I can get to it. Whenever you get get back to the fact that you play this fucking oh, uh, what's his face? Can you remember Basim? Basim. Yeah, but no, going back to Ubisoft and uh, DLC, fucking Far Cry. <laughs> like uh, uh, you had an experience with Far Cry Six DLC, wasn't mm. it? I got a I got a fear of deep water. Uh, and half of this DLC, like you are in, like you are swimming in like this deep, like it, you're, there is nothing but water. Yeah, like there's buildings and stuff and things flying around, flying, swimming around, but <laughs> flying around. <laughs> Well, they f- fly through the air. Yeah. But um, I almost had an anxiety attack on stream playing that DLC. I was like, nope, I'm done. Yeah, I don't blame you. But almost. for those games, what was the game? Uh, See, oh, I'm- oh, no. I remember the DLC that pissed me off so bad. It was the uh, first DLCs for Far Cry 6. Where you played as uh, Vaz, Pagan, and uh, Fuckface from Five. Uh, <laughs> Joseph. The whole premise is you play as them, kind of going after what the MacGuffin is in their respective games. But it's like a dungeon crawler type scenario where you start off with like the bare minimum and you gain points. And like, it was just so, it was dumb. It was dumb. Yeah, I didn't get to touch too much on that one. What the six itself or the DLC? The, yeah, the DLC. I did a little bit of six, but I don't know. well, six is now on Game Pass. You know? I know I owned it. I just haven't. Good. It, it. Like it's like base game wise, six is still my favorite by a mile. It's just one of those that after the uh, they spoiled the fun in five, like, and and what I mean by fun is like being able to just play through it with someone. Like I can't. That's the only way I enjoy playing those. Is co op? Yeah, get all the stupidity that you can do in it. <laughs> Which like I love playing games with friends. Like I like there is joy in it, but I'm I've become too introverted. I am. Single player. Let me sit here and play my game. I do that too, but for Far Cry specifically. I wonder if this is how Brock Lesnar feels about people. What? You know how like Brock is not a people person. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like I feel like that in some capacity is like I don't like dealing with people. I don't like interacting with people. I don't like mingling with people. But I've got like a small, like small group of people that's like, yeah, I'll talk to you guys. I'll hang out with you guys. But yeah, no, I'd rather just do my own thing. <laughs> no, I get that. 
But, you know, that's uh, it's a group of people that I like. You all are part of that group. <laughs> I hope so. We've been best friends for almost <laughs> I say almost 10 years. Jesus Christ, it'll be 10 years next yeah. year. And it's just like I said, you know, a group of people you like doing stuff with, and yeah. you know, it is what it is. And it's that all I have to get out of is I like to do my own thing. Now I have people that I actively can play games with. That's like, but. <laughs> I don't know. But, uh, what was I going to talk about? Something. Gonna bring something <laughs> You're going to bring something up. Oh, I'll bring something up. Don't worry about that. I'll find something. Um, oh, we can talk about this on here because we're not going to do it for, you know, the full year end thing, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Probably could, but we'll retouch on it. Then their Game Awards. Yeah. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that is a look of defeat over there. It's like, <sighs> I'm done. <laughs> no, ask me what the most shocking thing that came out of that was. Alan Wake? Nope. Okay, I'm curious. Lay it on me. Most shocking thing that came out of that uh, for me was the fact that Spider-Man 2 got it, snobbed in eight categories or seven categories. It was, I think it was in eight categories, and it didn't win anything. Exactly. But I'm, I'm going to lay this on you right now. So did the first one. Still. Because remember, like, we were going through, uh, I was going through, like, the, oh, wait, you weren't here for this. Uh, yeah, you were. Yeah, you were. Um, uh, I was going through, like, the previous Game Award years just to see what was up, what went. Spider-Man was nominated in a lot, too, like the first game, and it didn't win shit. It was just shocking that it didn't win again in the second thing. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. I, don't I, mean, I don't think I was expecting Game of the Year, but, I mean, just to get nothing is kind of... Okay, crazy. let's go through this list, because I've got to pull it up. Let's go through this. Do you want this link so you can go through it? Oh, if you want, I suppose. Oh! I guess if you must. Wow. Well, this way you can show it on sh on stream and the lovely people can tune in with. Yeah, they can see it all right. Because we're all gonna have disagreements again. <laughs> oh, we're gonna, oh, we're gonna have fun chats. Let's go. Let's go. Save the announcements for later because <laughs> I want to get into that. Uh, let's see. Where's where is the reward? Go down, scroll. No, nominees. Nope. From that point, scroll up. Scroll up. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, well, why is this here? No. No offense. No one cares about these words. Um, oh, some people do. <laughs> there we go. Awards. All right. I'm sorry. Game of the year. Come on. Hey, it could have been any of them. You're like they're like all of the games deserve to be recognized. Um, but with the impact that Baldur's Gate three had this year, come on, it it wasn't losing that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I was impressed that Alan Wake 2 won as many as it won. Yeah. Something else. People liked it, too. Which, fun fact, I attended Alan Wake last week. And <laughs> oh, I, I remember. You said, nope. Nope. Yes, man. By the way, yeah. you, need, you, need, you need to get Proteus. You need to get Proteus and play Proteus. Yeah. That's the game that I'm currently on Tuesdays, and it is... No, Mondays. I tried it last week, and I... Mm, very Doom-ish. Yeah, I saw it on the PlayStation list for whatever that thing is. PlayStation Extra. You yeah. download it, get it, get it, play it, love it. Yeah. 
Tell you something else that was shocking out of all of these is the uh, – and I, I know I've said this before, but after the summer of Diablo, the fact that it was kind of absent from a lot of this too. No, 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 no. The thing that pissed me off about that was – what was the category it was in? Multiplayer? Um, no, ongoing. Ongoing. Oh, wait. It's not even in that. No, it was in – Where's where multiplayer? It was in something. Yeah, it's best multiplayer game. Potter's Gate 3 won that, so. Uh, but no, best yeah, ongoing yeah. game. Like, this is the one that got me. Best ongoing game. You um, had Apex was, Legends, Final Fantasy XIV, Fortnite, Genshin Impact. I didn't and, see best ongoing. Where'd it go? There it is. Okay. Yeah. Look at what won. Of course it did. <laughs> Why? <laughs> It's not ongoing. Yeah, they just put out the new DLC for it or whatever. Uh, like, when I hear the word ongoing, you know, I picture, like, all the other games that were listed, like MMO types, like multiplayers. The guy from Fortnite, you know, that's not best ongoing <laughs> That means not even a thing anymore. It's literally gone. So stupid. Is it yesterday or today? They added Frieza and Cell now too. So like, what the fuck? That is not perfect. Yeah, see, it's like, fuck that. But now, um, I'll admit there are some that Baldur's Gate won that I kind of wish some other games might have won. But that's scored. That's fine. Art direction, I don't like to get surprised by that. But yeah. Game direction. And they gave uh, Tears of the Kingdom the Consolation Prize, wherever it is. No, the Consolation Prize was Mario Wonder with Family Game of the Year. No, oh, best action adventure game. <laughs> no. I, w- I would have given that to Spider Man, honestly. Yeah, same as the consolation prize. <laughs> <laughs> best family game, Pikmin 4. Yeah. Best sports racing, Forza Shocker. Wait, why is best sports and racing in the same category? <laughs> Because they don't have enough games to... You really think they're going to put NBA and NFL in there? Uh, I don't know. I mean, they put FIFA in there. That's what I'm saying. It's so weird. Oh, yes. Last of Us. Who saw that coming? <laughs> I want to twist the metal. Like, there like, they was a part of me that was going, what if? Most anticipated? Duh. Yeah, out of those, yeah. I don't know, man. It's just a... Um, Here's my thing about the Game Awards. Um, it was a list of things. <laughs> the thing about the Game Awards is it felt less like an awards show and more of like an E3 branch off. Yeah, I get because that. They, they, is too much on announcing and revealing games. But Snake is all four until they don't announce Mass Effect 4. I'm, I, listen, I'm okay with waiting on that. I'm okay with waiting on that. Because the game that I did get announced got a very loud reaction out of me. Jurassic Park Survival. The game that has been rumored for five years, the first person horror survival game set in the Jurassic franchise. That's a uh, that's one step closer to what we truly want. <laughs> I'm upset that Capcom didn't announce anything because that's supposed to come out in March. Like March is the month where like. Yeah, we're releasing an, an unannounced game in March that's supposed to that's going to sell millions. That's the game. We'll tell you later. 
because it's going to sell millions. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I still, there is no forgiveness in my heart to Capcom for the bullshit that they've done to the fan base. They know what you want. They just won't give it to you. No, they know what we want, but they're giving it to us in a different format. That's just shit. Oh, man. They know what you want. Hey, we know you want this, but here's this. You see, we got a character that looks like what you want. This is what you want, right? Yeah. Oh, you're talking about the thing that shall be named. <laughs> Exo Primal. You know what wasn't at the Game Awards? Exo Primal. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> How many people are playing that right now? Hold up. I not a lot. Well, hold on, I'm about to do this. I guarantee you not a lot. But you let me know how many people are on it. We will find out momentarily. I don't know. It's just, uh, like I said, they knew what they when were doing. When you search categories, like when you search XR Primal on Twitch, categories, XR Primal, 20 viewers. Yeah. They knew what they were doing. With the trailer, with everything. Oh boy. What you okay, got? okay, Steam Base, right? Uh-huh. There are currently 94 players playing the game right now. 94 under a hundred. Hmm. Surprising. <laughs> but the problem is Capcom's gonna look at this and say, Oh, nobody wants a dinosaur game, so we shouldn't re re remake Dino Crisis. That would be stupid of us. No one wants to play that. Here, here's the millionth Resident Evil remake. That is definitely not what they should do. <laughs> Nor should they take away from that. But, you know, right. we were saying uh, as soon as that main character looked the way she did. <laughs> and now, like, there's rumors that the next game is going to be Resident Evil 5, which was apparently set up in 4. And Code Veronica X. And I'm like, can we stop with the remakes? People um, uh, people seem to remember that game much differently than I do because Which Code one? Veronica does not hold up at all. Like story or gameplay? Yes. Because <laughs> the gameplay that they'll fix. Oh, they'll but, fix that, but uh, there was so much backtracking in that game, and I hated it. <laughs> there was so, a lot of that in the, at least in the Green Maker 2, I don't remember. Uh, yeah, but there was pointless backtracking in Code Veronica, which it would be nice if they fixed it, but, you know, give us something else first. Please. Switch it up, some guys. I don't want this to become... The like, and, and every everybody like all the publishers, most of them are guilty of this. Nintendo is the ultimate abuser of this, and they just release the same five games over and over for their different systems. Yeah, but, like, and and hey, that works. But Resident Evil, what we've gotten to now is a point where it's like. Hey, we're just gonna remake everything, and when will the dead start rising? I don't know. No, listen, I want even oh. Misha. Oh Lord, that's a Capcom game too, isn't it? Yeah, both of those are Capcom. Uh, Capcom, Honey Misha, and Dead Rising. Uh, I'm surprised I haven't started rebooting that yet. No, but we did get the remaster. 
for Onimusha like three years ago, and we've got the anime out now. So yeah, but maybe they're eyeing the franchise to see how it. You know what though? They've been very, very silent on Dead Rising ever since four. Was it for shit? Hey, it's a toss up, three or four. I was just telling Cody the other day, I don't think I played all of three or all of four. I know four brought back Frank West because that's what everybody was hurrahing about. <laughs> they covered wars, you know? Hey, Frank did it, man. He covered them. Uh, but I don't know. Because, like, one was its thing, and then two happened. Two was fun. Three built upon the story from two, and then four happened. Go figure, because I think three was a launch title on the Xbox One, or very close to it. Uh, they did get some cool I stuff. Four. No, 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 no. Three was that one, because three, the big selling point with it was that it had, uh, it used the Connect. And it had proximity mic, so like the zombies would react to you actually like talking or whatever, or you know your oh. sound would attract the zombies. Oh, I yeah. hate it when that was in Connect. Connect, the great uh, piece of technology that was. That's uh, that's a word for it. I was thinking piece of shit, but technology works too. <laughs> oh man. Which I never messed with the uh, Xbox One Connect. It was supposedly better, but I don't know. It's hard to sell me on that after the uh, 360 version. I, I I don't do any of that. So you don't remember Star Wars Connect? I never played it because I played good shit. Or Dragon Ball Z Connect, where it's just no. well in the game. No, I watched Team Four Star play him though. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, I remember Dragon Ball Z Connect. <laughs> the whole game. I'm good. I'm good. Hey, at least they got their stuff right, as opposed to um, Tenkaichi 3 on the Wii. Wait, what's this? I think hers being developed. Uh, games plan to be set between Dead Rising 2 and 3. Yeah. So. Uh. Uh, All right. right. I think I remember seeing something about that. Two, see, that's the thing. Three had uh, three focused on them too, if I remember right. So I don't know. It was your main guy, but I don't know. It got really weird in the story. And then four was just all over the place. So I don't think four made a lot of money. I feel like I remember four. Not being well received. Yeah. Um, I. I also know that four was an Xbox exclusive, wasn't it? I think so. Yeah, that sounds right. I, I remember that hurt a lot of people too. But yeah. looking at the cover, I know when the cover first came out, a lot of people thought it was a Walking Dead Daryl spinoff. Yeah. yeah. And then, like, it was revealed to be dead, rising four, and people were like, oh. <laughs> and oh immediately, oh, you just triggered something in my brain. Speaking of games that uh, one of us has to volunteer to play at some point. Do we, have, do we though? Do we? Do we? Oh. I don't, like, neither of us need or deserve or have to suffer paying that much money for that shit bag of a game. Yeah, I know, but it's supposed to be the roast of the year. <laughs> Let it go on sale for zero ninety nine. Zero ninety nine. Zero ninety nine. I'll buy it and we'll go through it. <laughs> the roasting game. Yeah. Again, a game that hey, hey, hey. Apparently it's not as bad as what was it, the day after? Oh yeah. <laughs> That game was literally nothing that that developer promised, and it is. Uh... Here's, here's, here's what I think is funny to me. Um, you look at the low, like the games that came out that were just 
the biggest positive shit this year that like everyone was talking about. Their ranking from like best to worst is their release date. Because first you had Gollum, then you had Kong, then you had The Walking Dead, then you had The Day After. I know. And they just got worse as like the releases came out. Oh, don't worry. We'll talk about that. <laughs> That'll be part of the great end of your spectacular. <laughs> the best yeah. and worst. Which is, <laughs> like, it's, it's hard to talk about. A lot of this stuff right now because oh man, trying to save it for, for Saturday. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I was just thinking about that game specifically. <laughs> the Walking Dead one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I want to subject us to that. Like, I don't know. I told you the thing I heard about it, and I was like, I just got to see how that plays out. <laughs> Which one? Uh, about T-Dog. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I just have to see what chain of events causes that to happen. But, uh, <laughs> see, here's the thing that somebody had said something or I was reading something. They said that was actually in development way back when, but then they didn't do anything with it. And then they're like, oh, hey, here you go. This year. Oh, yeah, this will sell. Why is this one of the worst games of the year, guys? What happened? That's no different than the um, Survival Instinct was the game, I, I believe. I think that's the name of it. Don't ask me why I remember. Uh, I remember being so happy to get that game, and we found it, and it was awful. <laughs> it was bad. As bad as all these games are, at least one of the scenes with the creature isn't a still image. <laughs> that is calm. Like when one of the creatures like pops up, the image of it popping up is just a JPEG image. <laughs> and it's like, what? Yeah. How did this game like make it Guys, we, we got to do better. Oh. Like, like your game doesn't have to be game of the year contender, but Jesus Christ, <laughs> this is the shit pal you give us. Oh man, you want to be like Kong two thousand five for the PS two, <laughs> which looks better than the. Isn't that the craziest thing ever? That is bizarre. <laughs> game that far back, some of them look better than the games we get now. They really do. Uh, and it's just hell. I prefer like that, like the older Pokemon games to the newer ones. I can't say anything. I haven't played them in a while. So. Yeah, but like Scarlet, like. Mm. I still haven't got the Scarlet and Violet DLC, and I don't want to. I like, no like, I want to play those at some point, but I don't know where to jump in. I guess Sword and Shield would be the way to jump into those, because... Play uh, Scarlet and Violet first, and then play Sword and Shield. You'll appreciate Sword and Shield a lot better. <laughs> oh, that bad is it? <laughs> Because, like I said, the last thing I played was X and Y and then the Ruby and Sapphire remakes. Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Yeah, whatever the last run on the 3DS was for that, because I didn't play Sun and Moon. Oh, oh you're missing out, dude. Didn't play Sun and Moon. Never got a chance to pick them up. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Uh, Otis. Otis. I will I will send you my copy of Sun. I will send you my copy of Sun. What am I gonna play it on? I'll send you my DS. <laughs> I got you, fam. Scarlet was the first one I played since Black Two, White Two, and those Sterling, are you too. We need to get you a DS. 
You need to get X and Y. You need to get Sun and Moon. I promise you. Just so hard. Yes, I have the because I have the two DS, but it's broken. It. Well, fix it. I can't fix it. It is. Get, get rid of it. Get rid of it. <laughs> Those are getting harder to find now too because they're going to stop working soon. For the uh, the uh, what's them call it the e shop. No, you don't need that. I don't know. There's a. I don't know, but Sun and Moon. You still have copies of those, man. You're you're rich, Sterling. That's like a gold mine right there. <laughs> right? People will pay good money for those. See, hey, we're talking about all the Pokemon stuff. What's going to get the hype train rolling for me is when we finally get this Switch announcement with the original gym on the uh, virtual online. On Nintendo Online, that will get the hype train rolling, dude. Once they announced that, like Fire Red, Leaf Green, Ruby Sapphire, and Emerald are coming to Nintendo Online, all bets are off. Nuzlocks left and right. Exactly. See, granted, the granted there's only reason to do two Nuzlocks: Fire Red or Leaf Green and Emerald. But... I don't even talk about the Nuzlocke side of it, though. Just playing through them again. Just playing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. But that would be fun. Uh, I need that. You know, just give me a good port of uh, Gold and Silver 2 from the Switch consoles, you know, from like... Uh, the Hard Gold Soul Silver? Yeah, like that. And you I, see, I was, I was talking with... Uh... Oh, I don't need to... Oh. No, not to me. Yeah, it's my bad thing. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, theoretically, it shouldn't be too hard to port to DS games. Uh, depend on what emulation they use for it. Same as the M64 stuff and all of that. Uh, that goes back to Strix and I wanting uh, the the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess ports from the Wii U. I'm honestly surprised those haven't been announced yet. That should be the easiest thing ever to do. Just pop them in and good to go. I'm surprised those haven't been announced yet. I'm pretty... Um... <laughs> <There's Shrix. laughs> yeah. I feel like that's going to that'll probably be the next thing they do. That might be next stuff. year. That might be we're not going to get a new game anytime soon. As far as Tears just came out, but... and they said they're working on the sequel to that now, so that's going to be about four years in the down the road. So I'm pretty sure y'all are going to get your remakes just like you want it. And, and I think they're gonna... already <laughs> remade. <laughs> they just need to support them. <laughs> You know what I'm fucking saying. I know. They just need to do it. I feel like you won't have to wait too much longer. Yes, I will. What, Nintendo? You want me to buy that game again for the third time? Sure. Have $60. Only third time? <laughs> That's cute. Don't ask, for, me how many, don't ask me how many times I bought Mass Effect. I don't know. It's, just, it's no, no, no. Fourth time. Fourth time. Because the one was on the Wii and GameCube. Uh, Twilight was on GameCube and Wii because they make those ports, which was god awful because the motion control was flipped everything on the Wii for Twilight Princess because Link was left handed and everyone they made it right handed and it was just oh gosh, don't remind me. <laughs> I didn't say anything, you're the one who reminded yourself. I know. Why didn't you stop me? The chain I, of events. <laughs> I, 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 by the time you got started, it was too late. <laughs> Yeah. There was no stop. There was no stop in that train once it started. Yeah, that was very confusing. And then Nintendo was Skyward Sword, and they were like, "We'll never release Skyward Sword without motion controls." And then what was that? <laughs> but here's like here's the thing: they released two Mario games this year. Leave that motherfucker alone. Did they? Yeah, they released the uh, Mario RPG and uh, Mario Wonder. Oh, that's right. Sterling, my friend. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, you should. Ah, I feel so bad. I just didn't get into those games. Yeah, it's okay. 
Like I tried. I gave it two hours. Oh, I, gave, I know you tried. I remember. I gave it two hours. Man. I can see I the remember. appeal to it, but I just don't. I don't have the nostalgia for it. So that's also a big factor of it. <laughs> I didn't get Nintendo anything until 2017, yeah. and even then, I only got it for Pokemon. Yeah, that's a big factor in it. Uh, I don't know. There's different things to it, like things that I still want to play that I haven't, like 16, I still want to play it. Um, okay. I need to get 4 again and play through it. I also want to play Dead Space. Uh, Super Mario uh, whatever. Uh, no, no, Paper Mario. They're redoing that. I want to play that when it comes out. Uh, if you, I, know, I know they're releasing that, uh, like a the Princess Peach game next year at some point. Yeah, uh, they're doing a remake of uh, one of the Luigi's Mansions too. I think. Yeah, I think it's Luigi. I think it's two. Yeah, porting it over. Mm -hmm. Which would be interesting. Which cool. Give us Pokemon. You haven't said shit about the future of Pokemon with the, since the DLC. Well, I wouldn't expect them to do too much, because... I'm expecting a Pokemon Direct next month. I fully expect that. Well, the only thing they could possibly do would be the, the Game Boy games. Game Boy and Game Boy Color. But... Well, that's well, all under one well, well could... not only that, they could also do like the next Legends game. I don't think they're going to pump that out that quick. I think they might. And on top of that, the uh, uh, everyone's wanting a Let's Go Johto. Uh, yeah, that would be nice. Rich, if they if they made that, it would be just not like, with the Pokemon Go mechanic. I'd be all for it. And then there's the Gen Five remake. And then there's Gen Ten. Yeah, it depends Which, on how far into it they want to go. I don't know. All I know is I fully expect a Pokemon Direct next month, and that's where we're going to get all the info. Because they haven't done one of the revamp remakes in a while. Is this the uh, Shining Pearl or, or whatever? Yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's... That was Gen 4. Now it's Gen 5. Which is like uh, and white. Let's... Let's no no no. Let's go Gen Two first if we're doing that. They've already made Gen Two remake with Heart Gold Soul Silver, and then they remade Gen Three with Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. Yes. Gen Four that's... with Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl. Gen now it's Two time, now, now it's to time, come. Now it's time for Gen Five with Black with Black Gravy uh, White Gravy. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> I've never heard those two described that way. <laughs> it's the price of the cup I had. I was just like, what? What sucks? It's because it's supposed to be brown gravy, not black gravy. <laughs> I was just like, what? What are we doing here? But no. Um, it's a bad joke that popped in my head, and it came out before I could think about it. I'm sorry. I, as I was saying it, I'm like, what the fuck am I saying right now? I can't <laughs> stop it. <laughs> Cannot stop this train. Can't stop this train wreck. Oh, man. I don't know. I just want Gen 2 on the Switch. That's what I want. Because Gen 2 is also part of this pseudo of Gen 1 because of the way Gold and Silver worked. And just go back through there, which was fun because those games is like, oh hey, you went and got all eight badges, did the elite four. Well, oh, you're telling me I'm not done? <laughs> now go get these. What? <laughs> but here's my problem with that: by the time you do the elite four, um, you've already got a team that like is perfect, and then you have to go through all that again. And it's like wait. Look, but my friends are already good, and by the time you get to Kanto, it worked. Okay, <laughs> it didn't work for me. 
because I had my team and I was like, perfection. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it worked. All right. And this goes back to you all, you know, talking about you didn't grow up with them, which I get, but you know, it worked for me. Listen, I didn't grow up with it, but you know, I did it right. You want to know what I, I, I right. <laughs> I did it right. Listen, when I bought my Pope, when I bought my Nintendo 2DS XL, the games that I bought were Omega Ruby, yep. um, X, no. Why? Why was when I had got and Pokemon Yellow the digital copy. I didn't play at I mean why I did or uh, Omega Ruby first. I played Yellow first. Hey, okay. so, Yellow works. So I played like the original stuff before I did anything else. Yellow was fun because you could get all the starters in that one without yep. having to go crazy. Yeah. And I can't remember when you get each of them. I know you get Charmander at a, a Cerulean City. Yeah. And Squirtle so, in Vermilion. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where you get Bubble Sword. Uh, I think it's in Cerulean too, I think. I did not remember. I think so. It could be completely wrong that you get it from uh, a lady who's taking the abandoned Pokemon or whatever. I don't know the guy that has Charmander or one of them. He just, he's just like, here you go. You can have them. No, you just, from my knowledge, like from what I remember, and again, this is back in 2017. So I just remember going up like past Nugget Bridge, yep. and then there's that little section at the very top mm -hmm. left, and Charmander is yeah. just chilling right there. And you just talk to him, and then boom, you, you got Charmander. It's like, huh? Oh, yeah. See, I don't remember it like that. I just remember you talk to the person, and then they I get don't. him. But I don't know. It could be wrong. I was about to say, I could be, like, I could be wrong. I could just be remembering shit wrong. I don't know. It's been a while since I played Yellow. It's been a while. It's been a long while since I played Yellow. <laughs> yeah, same. The closest would be the Let's Go games, I guess. I so hope if we get into the Let's Go, they don't make it like... <sighs> I get why they made it like that. And this is just me being like the old man. Like, get up my yard! But... I didn't hate those, okay? Like... Because um, for all it was worth... Visually, just... like, visually, everything about them, I was like, okay, this is cool, this is cool. But the training, like the, you don't fight anything. Basically, yeah, you, the, you do it the the gym battles and stuff though. Yeah, but you, the way you grind is by catching. I know. Like just no. I don't know. I'm a stickler for like the classic stuff. So don't. Yeah. Like if the game was made where it's like okay, you could just battle everything like blah blah blah, but it had to, that gave that visual, perfect. But Pokemon Go mechanic, I just, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, like I said, I didn't hate those games, but. Uh, oh, man. It's just something you run into on occasion with it. But this is just part of my problem. Like, I'm, I, I find, and this is old info, so I don't know why it's surprising me now. I'm just too fucking picky. Hmm. I am just too fucking picky. Yeah, you like what you like in your games. Yeah, but the problem is I don't like much, apparently. Hey, that's how we all are. Or that seems to be a real issue I've found as I've gotten older. Yeah. Like, hey, this is cool. Wait. Well, it's not. Why is this not cool? Damn it. Okay. You know, it's like finding joy in the things that you used to be able to, in certain things. Some, most of the things are fine, but just in gaming specifically. It's like, yeah. Which is weird because uh, I can have nostalgia kick forever on uh, movies and stuff, and I can watch those all day long. But you know, yeah. movies are like, oh, this is still good, but it's weird on the game side of things. Yeah, because those games are going to be hit or fucking miss. 
Yeah. Like, is it so much that we remember it differently, or is it just so much of the games we have now? I feel like comparing the games we had as a kid to the games that we have now is so unfair. Oh, yeah, it's unfair. But like, it's just like the the age where you have what's theirs. Like, okay, you'll understand this perfectly. Looking at the wrestling games from the 90s. Oh, my God, this is the graphics are so realistic. Like, they look just like Stone Cold Steve Austin. And it's just uh, yeah. a block. Yeah. It is just a box for a head. Yep. <laughs> with his face plastered to it. Yep. And that we're is. calling that the greatest thing on the planet. And we ate that shit up as a kid. Looking back on those games now, it's like, what? Oh, yeah. No, it's... um. For oh. me, it's like I remember them way differently. Like, and then, and then there's the unfortunate bit. Like it's so weird. Like games that you played as as a kid, or games that were out when you were a kid. You go back and revisit them, or you play them for the first time. They're almost impossible to beat. Well, you know, it's not even that side. You know, there's that aspect of it. Something else too for me, and I don't know why I remember it this way, or. Um, trying to I, I don't know how to describe the feeling but i know we've talked about this before with everybody it's like uh you get out of school it's a friday mom says hey let's go to the video store you can pick out a game oh, get a pizza. Oh, 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 oh. like that feeling like you're never gonna have that sensation again i mean uh, because like yeah i don't know man that's just like, there's the joy I felt as a kid walking into Blockbuster on a Friday night. <laughs> Almost nothing can match it. Yeah. Because, like, it's the it's almost like a magic. Yeah, it was like, definitely a uh, it was definitely a thing. And, like, I'm, I'm thinking back to, like, okay, because the blockbuster here moved to a different building. Mm -hmm. And I remember like just thinking back on it, the blockbuster like in the new building didn't feel as right as the older building. Yeah. Because it feels like they because I think they had more space in the old building. So there was just so much more to pick from, and it was like it was just mesmerizing. Oh yeah, no, but you know that that feeling of it, uh, you know, you get the game, or the opposite of that, I, that feeling. I was, I was just about to say <laughs> the opposite feeling when you get excited and you know a movie is out that you really want to watch, and your mom <laughs> says, "Well, you, you you got good grades this week. Yeah. We'll go to Blockbuster. Sweet." And you get there, and the fucking thing's not there. Like there's the box, but it's not behind it. No, my 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 go to for this though is because you know you'd walk around the corner for it, and you know if they had it, they would have the, the case and then the thing behind it, and I'd see it. I'm like no, <laughs> that was video games too. That was always a thing. There. Yeah. Oh man, this I'll tell you about that. I'll tell you about this because this is what I remember, and this. A part of this ties into what I was saying earlier about games that existed as a kid. You play them now as an adult, they're impossible. Well, I never played hardly any of the Jurassic Park games. Yeah. Because I didn't have the Super Nintendo. I didn't have any of any of those. I had to play I had the Sega. But we can never find the Lost World Jurassic Park and Sega Genesis. And I remember every time we went to Blockbuster, I would run to uh, the video game section, Sega Genesis, the Lost World Jurassic Park. The case was always there, but it was never in the box. They never had it in stock. Yeah. And so that was just upsetting to me. Yeah, 
that was my first run-ins with uh, Ocarina, too, honestly. I'd be getting it from there, renting it, and then, you know, as the, the files were on there, so whoever had it last, their files were on there, too. It was always great figuring out what were they doing. Um, but this is, you know, that feeling, I don't know if it's, I don't know. The closest thing recently to that, and even that's gone now, is um, probably uh, late uh, 2000s, maybe early 2010s with um, like old school cool midnight launches. Like that's probably the closest I could think of to that. And even that was sort of. I mean, there was something kind of satisfying about standing outside waiting for it, but at the same time, I always just went the day after. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to go anywhere. No. See, now I like doing the midnight. I, I also couldn't because. Yeah, yeah. No, I enjoyed them because you know, um, depending on how big of a launch it was, like they would have the like you didn't have to stand out in the cold, but like they couldn't. We couldn't. They could. Well, I say we, but. They couldn't sell you the stuff. You could be in there. They just couldn't sell it. But I met so many cool people from those. Just like people that shared the same interest, playing the same games, talking well, about stuff. There was. I'm gonna tell the story. It uh, was fighters. It was fighters. Dragon Ball fighters. It was the launch party for that. Yeah. The game stop here. We did. Uh, they had. Dragon Ball Z playing on like the DVDs. Well, the Blu ray. So. And they had, I want to say it was uh, one of the Budokai games, like a tournament. I was just vibing. And I had bought a, my Goku statue. And there was this kid who was a, had to have been about 17, who for some reason just attached to me at the hip. <laughs> And uh, um, he really wanted a Trump statue that was there. And he standing around me, he kept making these comments. And this is like the opposite of you, what you said about I made so many cool friends there. Oh, no. You, all, you also get this. I wish I had the money for that Trump statue. It'd be so cool if someone would just buy that for me as a gift. Uh, Standing like right beside me, trying to hint at me, hey, you should get that for me. For no reason, I just met you, but but buy me a tr buy me trunks, please. Oh, see, I would have said, sir, I just work here. <laughs> oh, no, no, this, this was before I worked there. Uh, but he he kept going on like I, I just wish everybody. It, I just really want that drum set, you. It's so cool, and. He just kept going on, and finally I said, well, you fucking shut up and leave me alone. What? I know what you're doing. I'm just trying to be your friend. No, you're trying to get me to buy you a statue. Well, will you? No. <laughs> that is not the way to go about and, that. And the manager overheard the conversation, and he was like, look, kid, if you are if you don't stop bothering people, I'm going to make you, I'm going to ask you to leave. Yeah. I just want the trunk statue five minutes later someone else bought it. <laughs> Yeah, that's a side of things, but I don't know. Like that's the closest I could think of to that feeling, but nothing will ever capture. I'm. Them. I'm gonna ask you one. Uh, what is your favorite memory of that, or uh, not midnight releases, blockbuster, or renting a movie and or a game and? Oh gosh! If you need to think about it, I got a good. <laughs> Probably, probably, if I had to pick one that comes to mind, would probably be when they finally got Budokai to you. Mine's about Budokai 1. <laughs> <laughs> so my dad took my brother to St. Louis to a Cardinals game for birthday. My brother wanted to go to a Cardinals game, and my dad was like, well, 
why don't you and I go do this? So it was me and mom. We went and we rented uh, <laughs> Budokai 1 on PS2. Yep. But we also rented, and don't judge me on this, Blue Collar Comedy Tour of the movie. And we went to Pizza Hut. We got some pizzas, some cheese sticks, because I'm a bitch for some cheese sticks. <laughs> Why? But like the Pizza Hut cheese sticks back then, bro. We're sitting on the couch watching Blue Collar Comedy Tour. Because what well, happened? Because mom rented her a couple of movies, and I rented the game, and she, we rent, and she got it. She got the blue collar movie for us to watch together. So we watched the blue collar comedy tour together and ate pizza. I don't remember laughing as hard as I did the first time I watched that movie. <laughs> and that night playing Budokai, that was the first night I actually experienced gaming rage. <laughs> oh boy. Don't push your luck. <laughs> but, um, Gohan, forgive your father. God damn. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Oh, that's burned into my brain. <laughs> oh, I can always hear it if I think about it. <laughs> I don't have to think about it. It's just, anytime I think of Radis, don't push your luck. <laughs> yep. <laughs> but, um, I beat it that weekend. I beat Cell that weekend. Don't yeah. ask me how, but I did. Yeah. My Budokai won. I almost ruined Christmas. <laughs> I got it for Christmas that morning. And uh, we had other Was places. Was this your first time playing it? Yes. Oh, God. Got it for Christmas. Opened it. Shocked. Uh, we had other places to go, and I said, no. I'm not moving so I beat this game. <laughs> uh, that didn't go too well, but <laughs> I was mesmerized, okay? I mean, back then, like, that looks, like, visually, for the time period, that looked incredible. Oh, yeah. It had a um, different style about it. But I'm dying on this hill. Until the day that I'm in the ground. Budokai 2 is better than Budokai 3. The only reason Budokai 3 is, gets the hype that it does is because of Broly and Super Saiyan 4. If I Broly just, and Super Saiyan 4 were in Budokai 2, Budokai 3 wouldn't even need to happen. I just think it's really silly that they omitted it from the HD collection. I'm pissed about that. To this day, I'm still pissed off about that. Like, that would have been good. Like, I was... <clears throat> and th this goes back to, like, you know... Uh, and you can't, about... you can't say they were made from a different studio because it was all Bandai. Yeah. There is no reason for that game to have been excluded. The only reason it was was because, oh, it didn't receive as well. Bullshit. Well, see, that's the thing. Everybody hated the board game. And I know I've said this before. Me and my friends would each pick a character, and we would pass the controller and move that and, character. And, and when that character got into a fight, here you go. <laughs> and we made it a uh, co-op experience for uh, the story mode. And that's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. That was... And like, you get to the point where you realize you have like every single spot on the board, you have to inspect what's there. Oh yeah, there was that side of it too. And it like, was fun. Kid do fuck it do that. Like fuck we would do, game. and this goes into Tenkaichi three or the Tenkaichi games as well. Like we would have so much fun with that. Like you know, if somebody was over if I went to their house. Like we would do the. Um, You'd have like the edit skill options, so like not just the normal. So you could customize like you could, uh, except for no, you could do it in Budokai three and Budokai two were the worst about it. No, Budokai one had it too, because like uh, there were so many transformations. They each took up a slot, so there were less that. moves that you could put in. And the but, worst. But what we would do is like wait, wait, Tenkaichi had 
the different transformations? Gen Kai like, 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 like you had to. No, they were built in, so you could do it in the game, like in the fighting. Like you didn't have to worry about wasting a slot on it. But what we would do is, like, we would do like the verses or whatever the case may be. Uh, we would have the other person not look so they could set their skills and you never knew what they were going to have. <laughs> so you could, you'd you have to run the risk that they would play normal or they would do something <laughs> stupid like put uh, fusion on it and use that. And uh, it, it was just so much fun. I'll tell you what upset me about the skill slot thing. The breakthroughs never included all the skills. Like in Budokai 3, when you unlock Super Saiyan 4, it wasn't included in the skill, in the breakthrough. Because it always included, like, uh, uh, I want to say up to Super We'll use Goku, because Goku is the prime example, whatever. It, it went all the way up to Super Saiyan 3, which was Kaioken. There was, like, how many Kaioken slots were there? In three, in Budokai three, yeah, I want to say it was just one. It was just Kaioken, the Super Saiyans one, two, and three. Yeah, yeah that and makes then sense. four because that yeah. was the worst. That took up like five slots. Just five, like. five out of what eight? Yeah, and so you so you had Kamehameha. No one used Dragon Hammer, which was his melee attack. Um, then you had Spirit Bomb. Warp Command Man and Super Spirit Bomb and Dragon Fist. Yep. But you can only pick, like, depending on what Super Saiyan you go with, two or three attacks. Yeah. But Breakthrough didn't have all of those. Yeah, I don't Breakthrough remember. had up to three and, like, three, and like two attacks. And it, it, it was weird. Yeah. See, the other part of that, uh, going into what we would do, like, with the other person wouldn't look, then it got really funny because sometimes they would put, like, uh, up to Super Saiyan, then a Kamehameha special or not special, whatever. Then they would put in, like, a freaking Sensu Bean, and then you beat them, and they're like, ah, and I'm like, no. Sensu Bean! <laughs> or uh, Frieza and Cooler with the stupid uh, like going to Mecha. Mecha. Meta. Mm. Uh, or Vegeta with Mods and Vegeta. Yeah. That was always one to get. Uh, it was just... Because uh, it's well, like... Said, yeah. Once you play this Mods and Vegeta, like, all bets are off. Because Atomic Blast, bam, 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 you're dead. Yeah. Or you use Final Explosion. I would just use that, too. <laughs> you still lost the fight. Uh, sometimes you could win with it. Or if you survived it, you would have, like, literally one HP... <laughs> oh man, that was a part of me feels bad that I never played Tenkaichi now, especially having played like games like Kakarot and Xenoverse. But at the same time, having played those and watching the playthrough that I've seen between you playing them and TFS, I feel like yeah. they're way too slow for me. Yeah, they're definitely a different style, but it's just a different era. That's all yeah. there is. And I haven't heard anything about like the Raging Blast games and Burst Limit. I don't know so, anything about them. I know Sagas is a pile of shit, and Ultimate Tenkaichi no one talks about. Yeah, so Burst Limit is very much... Also, Strix, if you're here, <laughs> we got the Dragon Ball. Uh, Burst Limit is very much akin to the Budokai style, sort of. Like it's the, the the side fighting side, like 3D, whatever you want to call it. Not, yeah, burst limit is not like Tenkaichi style. Mm, I thought uh, it was. No. Uh, but it's really fun. But the thing, if I remember right, is you can't charge up in burst limit. So that always confused me. Okay. But it looked good. It looked yeah. visually good. And they had those player hero cards or whatever where you could like have key moments or whatever. So you could have like uh, the Piccolo jumping in front of the Napa Blast. Like it would do that scene, but with other characters. So you could have some funny stuff happen. You could have, um, 
you could set the card to be like Frieza jumps in front of the blast for Goku or something. It's really just really random shit. Okay. It, it, it was funny. Um, burst limit, Raging Blast, one and two. I think I only ever played one. But I, those were good games. I remember people liking them. Ultimate Tenkaichi was shit. Yeah. It was a thing that happened. Um, and then Battle of Z just... It's man. there. Like, man. no one ever talks about it. Yeah, there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> the only thing about Ultimate Tenkaichi on that that I liked was it was the first... Or, yeah, the creative character side. And then Xenoverse happened, and then the rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you a game that I feel like gets zero love because it gets zero talk, and I feel like that's unfair, is Infinite World. Mm. But I haven't played it. I have it, but I haven't played it. Oh, I played it once. And... I heard the controls are weird. I don't... See, I don't remember it being weird. I just remember it being another part of Budokai. Uh, for all intents and purposes. But I don't know. I could be wrong. It's been a while since I played it. I was very late to the party on that game as well. I was like, yes, I got it. And then I played it, and I was just like, oh, well, okay, this is the thing. <laughs> because I remember, like, I was so excited because I saw that baby and Super Saiyan Thane were in it. And I was yep. like, Yes. Yep, they they were in it. I, I don't know why I was excited about Super Seventeen because I never cared for him. This is weird because Omega Chevron was in Budokai Three. Mm -hmm. But I don't he, know. He was a tank too. He was a tank boy. Yep. Broly was saying, though, Broly was a menace. <laughs> you put Broly in my hands like I was unbeatable. Yeah, Broly was good. Broly could fly around and do all the Broly things. Also liked cooler. I never used cool. His transformation was cool. Oh, the sphere thing. Then again, Frieza did that too. No, he didn't. No, Frieza didn't do that. I thought Frieza did the sphere transformation too. Uh, no, you might be right. <laughs> you you could be right. I don't remember. Might have been for some of them, but I know cooler did it for sure. I know 100% cooler did. Uh, yeah. There's cooler. <laughs> you looked it up. Yeah, I'm looking it up. <laughs> no, Frieza did it too. Okay. Frieza did it too. Yeah, I'm saying. I thought Frieza did it too. I could have. I, I don't remember. Oh, it's been a while since I played that. Yeah, but the thing that killed me about Santa Xenoverse, like B Budokai Three, was the fucking Dragon Rush. A lot of people either you either liked it or you didn't like it. Well, it was so RNG, and it, nine times out of ten, it was always in the in the AI's favor. Mm. And then you had and then you had the people like Super Bear who fucking spammed it. Press square, press circle. Press triangle. Oh, sorry, they put triangle too. Well, you fucked up. But I wanted to do the warp commandment. Nope, you can't do it. Gosh, I forgot that move was locked behind that. That and Spirit Bomb. Final Flash. Final Flash. Now Spirit Bomb was a uh uh dragon or whatever. It was just a, a regular special, but no, you had you, you had to rotate the analog six. Yeah, that, but uh you're talking about the the dragon rush thing. But just super big fucking spammed. Because it was uh, RNG on that. Tell you what else I hated that I liked more in two was the rotating of the, the analog. Because in three, it went to the press X at the right time or whatever. Yeah. To get the. And if you didn't, uh, like, the bars collided or whatever. Like, if their bar was higher, then you didn't do the full attack or whatever. Yeah. Um, oh, but 
Bit of Guy 2 will always just be better for me, I think. Yeah. Ultimate battle. Right, like when you look at the the chain from Budokai 1, which you know at the time was the greatest thing on the planet. <laughs> Even the, even through the difficulty, like we were obsessed with that game, but then yeah. two came out and it was like, "There's a bit of that one." I forgot all about that game existing. Yeah, and then three came out and it's like, "Oh, you can get Broly in Super Saiyan Four. Oh, but you had to do what? Yeah, Broly Super Saiyan Four. And then what was it? Raging Blast Two had the uh, all the what ifs and introduced Super Saiyan Three, Vegeta, and Broly." Yeah, I think Raging Blast had that as as well. Um, it was one or two. One of them. Because the Tenkaichi's had the um, uh, what-ifs, too, but they were a little bit different. Yeah. That's not some of those. Jesus. Like Raditz becomes a good guy or something, if I remember right. I'm curious to see. Hmm. I don't know what they're going to do with the sparking hero. Yeah. That's what I was about to say before a yawn decided to punch me in the throat. Um, I just don't know if they're going by typical things. That'll be maybe March or will they push it to summer? I can. Because I said it's coming sooner than we think. So I can see March or April. It's clearly not going to be the January window no. because they would no. have announced that already. Because January is already stacked. The January window was Fighters back then? I think it was Fighters was and Kakarot. Was Kakarot January? I thought yep. it was. Okay. January. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But those are the scenes, so though. I was trying to think. What they'll do with it. It'll be interesting. I'll be curious to see what they do. January's got the Prince of Persia game. The Last of Us Part 2 remastered because that needs to be a thing for whatever reason. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Tekken 8 and Like a Dragon Infinite War. Oh, well. There's a lot of other games listed too, but eh. Hey, you already know what's going to be uh, game of the year next year. Oh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Fight me. No, man. Last of Us 2 Remastered. I will, I will be so pissed. You already know what's going to happen. Oh, why, why are you all torturing Shrix? Oh, what? What are y'all doing to Shrix? They're doing something? Now, now let's look at February real quick. Um, oh, puns. <laughs> <laughs> The JJK, JJK games coming up. Yeah, uh, just, which I'm. Um, it doesn't look good. I, I have been so non-caring about that game. Yeah. Suicide Squad could care less. Banishers. That's the first game in 2024 that I'm curious about. Yeah. Uh, well, let's not go too far down that rabbit hole. <laughs> What? Looking at games for next year? Yeah. Oh, you want to save this for the Saturday? Yeah. Oh, say less. What do you call a hobbit party? A little get <laughs> <little cat together. laughs> y'all are... Ooh. Oh, y'all, y'all don't like that man tonight. Tell me Strix didn't leave the call after that. <laughs> Listen, the amount of times that Sterling comes in and just bombards chat with Pun after pun after pun after pun. I'm like, Shrix is still here. Shit. Yeah. It's definitely things that happen. Um, I don't know. Man, I'm still curious to see what we can do with. Uh... Considering how many puns we have done, no. That's surprising. Oh, well, hey, you know, it works, it works, I guess. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. It oh. almost it, I don't know about you, but it kind of almost feels like we uh kind of getting close to a wrap up point at this point. Might be. Someone's catching up we did. <laughs> well, well well here's the thing. Here's yeah. the thing. 
I know. We're trying to save it for Saturday. I know. Because Saturday is going to be the full, let's talk about 2023. Mm-hmm. Saturday is going to be a five-hour podcast. I hope you're ready for that. Isn't leveled out and isn't dying anymore. Well, that's good. I think he's just, this is my fate. I accept. Uh, <laughs> but I'm like, if we wanted to wrap it up here, I'd be okay with that. You know, because like you said, Saturday is going to be the big one. This was just a, hey guys, we're back. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, I get that. Plus, I, sure. plus, I know you're not feeling too hot, so yeah. give you a little bit of chance to rest if you wanted. Oh, it is what it is. It, it, like, this was fun, but you know, like we're everything we want to talk about. You know, we're gonna cover Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, okay. <laughs> But yeah, we can do that. Okay with people this. can I'm join okay us this. for the uh, year-end special on Saturday. That's going to be fun. That will be a lot to talk about. It's been a bit of a hectic year. So. A little bit. A little bit. Mm. I don't know. But yeah, appreciate everybody stopping by for the uh, recapping and regrouping that we've done so far. It's been nice to get into this a little bit more, even when I'm not uh, feeling the best. But. One thing that is pissing me off about this Uh-oh. is I'm looking at my camera on StreamYard and then me on stream, and the camera's not doing what it need, what it should be doing. And honestly, it just... Self-conscious here, it doesn't mean... I, I don't like the way I look at the camera there. Oh, man. Because... I don't know, man. I know you can flip it, but we can figure it, that it's out. Don't flip! I tried, tried it. Don't. <laughs> and when I flip it on here, like it doesn't look right. I don't know. I don't know, folks. We'll figure it out. Uh, hope you guys will stop by for that, though. And I appreciate everyone that has been back. It's been fun doing this more. Oh, um, going to try to be a little bit better about it since I'm only doing one class this upcoming semester. So that should help out some. But just if we <laughs> have to once again push all we can get back until after he's done with school, we will do that without hesitation. Because, uh, nope. I don't want to do that though. Yes, but the less pressure on you, the better. I know, but yeah, I appreciate everybody. We'll figure out. I'm what just looking plan. out for you. I know. I know. Because I'm your pal. All of you all look out for me. I appreciate it. If not, I bonk. Yeah. I have a new bonk toy. Oh, I know you got the new bonk toy. I still use the Lucille, though. Hey, she's she's over there. She's over there. She's vibing. Oh, man. I can't show it on stream because, you know, Billy River. It's all good. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate everybody going for that. Um, don't get to rate out super often anymore because I ain't been on there. But... Press, press, press. Oh, well, if you want. Who are you going to go for? Uh, Cherry. Who? Cherry. Oh. That's yes, whatever, though. It don't matter. Try to go to people I haven't seen in a while. This is fine. Perez is one that I usually go to quite often when I That's am fair. That's running. fair. I just know that. <laughs> just look at. Well, he's also playing Spider-Man too. So. Yeah, I haven't seen much on that yet either. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, appreciate everybody. We will catch you guys Saturday for the fun party. Later, guys. Later.